hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement react navigation version 5 draw navigator into our react native project and this is the second part of the tutorial series where i am showing you how we can implement different parts of react navigation version 5 so in our previous tutorial i have already shown you how we can implement stack navigator as you can see over here we have a home screen or overview screen and we have a button if we click on the button we are in the detail screen now so we can move between different screens and these are some other options which i have shown you in my previous tutorial so if you haven't seen that tutorial yet i would highly recommend you first go ahead and see that tutorial over there i have shown you how to install the react navigation into our react native project and how we can implement the stack navigator you will find the link in the description below or you can find the video from the i icon at the top right hand side of this video now in this tutorial i'm not going to show you how to install the react navigation i will directly step into the implementation of draw navigator so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification icon so you get notified every time i post a new tutorial video so as you have done that now without wasting any more time let's step into our tutorial let me first discuss our project structure as you can see over here we have imported this home screen and detail screen from the respective files and these files are located into this screens directory so we have this detail screen component and we have this home screen component and we have used those components into our stack screens right and now over here we can see this is the official website of react navigation and we need to go to the documentation to install our drawn navigation and into the guide section we can see this drawn navigation option and we have this command to install this drawn navigation so i have just copied the command and over here i need to paste the command and hit enter it will install the package so it has been installed here is a minimal example of the drawer based navigation currently i'm copying some codes from this section and later we will do some customizations as per our needs so first we need to import this create draw navigator from react navigation drawer package and then we need to implement it by creating this constant so i have just pasted it after this stack navigator and then we need to provide this draw navigator within this navigation container right now into our navigation container we can see we have this stack navigator but we don't need it so currently i'm just commenting it out without deleting it and i'm just pasting it over here and it will be details so saved it now after saving it we can see that there is some change we don't have this header over here but if we slide from this left hand side then we can see that we have this drawer navigation so it has been implemented properly and if we click on this details then we are in the detail screen now right but if we click on this detail screen button then we can see that some error is occurring over here because we are not into the stack navigator currently so it won't work so our drawer is opening properly and it is working properly as expected but there is some user experience issue as an user we don't know if this app has the draw navigation or not so we might require a header over here which we have previously in our stack navigator and into that header we definitely require a menu icon into the left hand side or right hand side wherever it requires in our app right so i will add those headers back over here let me show you how we can implement that to implement that we need to grab some help from the stack navigator so we will require this and instead of stack it will be home stack and it will be detail stack for detail screen and below this we will create home stack screen and into this home stack screen we will return 
this stack navigator so let me just copy this thing and paste it over here and instead of stack it will be home stack right and for the component it will be home screen which we have imported and we don't need the detail screen over here for the details we will create another component called detail screen so it will be details and we don't need this title change over here now save it okay nothing happens because we haven't provided these components over here instead we are providing previous components so currently we need to pass this home stack screen and this detail stack screen okay so now we can see that we have this header again and now if i click on this go to details then we can see that we are in the data screen and this is coming from the stack navigator and if we slide from here then we are in the data screen from this draw navigator so we can access the draw navigator from both these screens but we don't have the menu over here to implement that menu i have already installed react native vector icons over here so as you can see react native vector icon is installed into our project so i will import that over here okay and i will add the menu icon in the left hand side so it will be header left icon button name of it will be ios menu size 25 background color of it will be the same color as this header background so this color and then the options to open the drawer so to open the drawer we need to provide some code over here which will open the drawer so let's see this is the code by which we can open the drawer and close it and if we want to have both the options then we have this toggle drawer option but most of the cases this open drawer will work perfectly because whenever our drawer is open that time we can click on this grade area then our drawer is closed right and when this drawer is open that time we cannot access the screen elements right if we want to close this drawer from any button into this drawer navigator then we can implement that toggle option or close drawer option over there other than that in most of the cases the open drawer will work perfectly so we will implement that over here now let's save it so we have this menu icon over here if we click into it then nothing happens okay we need to remove this curly braces over here now if i click into it okay another mistake it will be on press not options so on press it will open the drawer so now we can see we can open the drawer by clicking on our menu icon at the header of the screen and we can go to the detail screen for the details also we need to implement these options right so for the details screen we will use this header left so now from the detail screen we can open the drawer and now we can push the detail screen into our stack with the help of our stack navigator and we can go back also from the draw navigator we can navigate between different screens so now we have implemented a proper navigation system into our project right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know by commenting down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tutorials like this in my next tutorial i will implement the bottom tab navigator into this project so stay tuned for that 
so i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye